Hi, Geometry Kids. So I'm going to try to go through big ideas for a few minutes because I want to share something with you called Skills Trainer. So uh, every day if I tell you your assignment is in big ideas, you're going to go to your portal, log in, and click big ideas. Now it's going to be slightly different simply because Clever should log you in. Mine is a teacher account, but you still should be able to find the things that I'm showing you. So on the left, it should be featured components. Up here, it should show your class period. So as you can see, I have periods one, four, and six. You uh, That should be automatic. You should see the book of geometry, uh, Common Core 2019. And over here in this big window pane, you'll see it says uh, in progress assignments. So clearly nobody here has started, but I've assigned you some problems. And it's not due until the 8th, which is Tuesday next, by noon, but really turn it in by um, class time. And if you scroll down a little, you should be able to see all kinds of other things, um, assessments, things like that. And this is, like I said, for teaching. Here's our learning targets and our success criteria. But really where you're going to want to go is you're just going to click this um, to get started on your assignment. Now, before we do that, I want to show you what's in this little pancake menu. See where my hand is? Okay, so you'll click that. And this is where the money is, okay? It shows you here's the book. Got to make sure it's the right one. Dynamic classroom is all kinds of lessons. Your own reports, anytime you take an assignment when you finish, that's how you can see how you did on it. Activity library is activities that I have saved for you. Assignments is all the assignments you've done and the assignments that are due. There's other resources. So I'm going to click this so you can see. You can look by chapter over here. So say you want to find something in chapter three about parallel lines, there you go. You can look by section. Of course, I'll be assigning stuff to you. Um, so it may not look exactly the same. The other thing you can do is browse by resource. So in the um, resources, there's all kinds of things, like there's some games, there's some different templates of papers that you can use. There's some apps, things like that. So you won't be able to see all this, but um, most of it. I go back to the pancakes. This is um, skills trainer is what I want to show you the most, but I'll do these other quick math tools. As you can see, is um, there's a bunch of different things that will help you. It's in all the levels. Here's a scientific calculator. There's a number line. These other tools in case you want to um, use Desmos graphing. This is my favorite. You've got math tool paper. So say you want to have um, a graph paper. Here's a PDF of it. You want number lines. Here's a PDF. Um, I'm going to be posting the four-step approach to problem solving. And then the graphic organizers are different charts that you can print out. These are all blank. And you can print them out either as a PDF or as a doc. So say you want to make a comparison of two different groups or something, you can do example, non-example, all kinds. Okay, so again, that's under your tools. Okay, the game library only has a few games, especially for um, geometry. There's these five, and those are interactive. But then there's also a number of games that you can download if you want, English, Spanish, just a ton of them, all stuff that we can do in class. That's kind of fun. Your dashboard, again, is where it opens up. Now let's go to the skills trainer because this is what I want you to explore. Say you, now that you've taken your diagnostic test, can't remember how to, um, how to, graph a line. Okay. Over here where it says grade, it also has these books. So we did heavy duty graphing a line in algebra one. If you click algebra one, it shows you all of the topics that you did here. Okay. 
So say, I want you to do a line. Where do we find line? Comparing functions, compare linear quadratic functions, using data, graphing functions. So it would probably be in here. Each one of these topics. Okay, so let's say we can't remember how to factor. That was on your, your quiz yesterday. And so I'm going to click that and it will show you a couple of examples. So it doesn't tell you how to do it or anything unless you mess it up. So factor this. And so here's x squared minus 2x minus 80. Now, <clears throat> you may know that like 8 and 10 are your factors where it crosses the x-axis. So if I just put in 8 and let's say comma 10, then those are my answers, right? So I do check answer and it goes, nope, I don't like that. In other words, the answer had to be, because it's a trinomial, you had to have answers of binomials. And also, it's not just 8 and 10, it's x plus 8 and x minus 10. So the signs were wrong. So when you're doing this, it's, um, it'll give you that hint on the skills trainer, but it won't help you. But then it'll give you another one. And so this one, now I know I need to do binomials, so I'll put in parentheses first, or you can click this button here. And then I know it's gonna start with X here, and I know it's gonna start with X here. I need two numbers that will multiply to give me negative 30, but when I add them together, they give me plus one X. So that's gonna be plus six and minus five. So now when I do check answer, it goes, yep, it turns green, yay. And then of course it gives you a chance to do the next one or stop. It'll talk to you if you want it, just turn that off. And then that is called, like I said, your skills trainer. So it's all your algebra one skills. And then hopefully we're gonna do like a little scavenger hunt so you can re refresh some of these things as you probably can tell you need to refresh after that uh, test. And then of course, if we go over something and you don't remember or um, wanna know how to do it, that's also geometry, or you can click chapter and say, for instance, it'll show you chapter 1.4, 1.5, that kind of thing. But there's more in grade. This whole book is here. So that's how you get there. It's through the pancake. You're always going to start in your dashboard. And then on um, probably on Thursday or maybe even Friday, I will have you start this. And then it'll tell me who submits it, who's in progress, and that. So hopefully uh, this will be good. And this is my first video on Screencastify. So I'm hoping that um, it went well. Okay.